Hello and welcome back to Orchid Saga. My name is Elkian Wiesma and today I am going to repot and cleaning up uh, this Oncidium Pipikea Sunset. And I'm sorry for the glare. This been in this pot uh, since 2021. So about uh, two years, two and, yeah, almost two and a half years. And it uh, grew well, as you can see, we have some older bulbs that can be taken off. A heck of a lot of roots. Some older flowers there, so yeah, this this should uh, uh, need, uh, this one is in need for, my, for, my, for a cleaning up. And uh, I'm going to divide it as well, because Inter from Inter Orchids uh, has asked me uh, if uh, he could have a piece of this plant, which is, uh, which is doable. <laughs> No problem. It's a climber, so I'm not sure which species uh, I'm going to take off. But yeah, a bit of uh, cleaning up will uh, will do, I think, anyhow. So uh, yeah, no problem to uh, send him a uh, division of this plant. Um, but first, we need to take it out. So let's start with the beginning. And this one has a uh, quite a root system. Uh, a lot of roots. A lot of roots. So yeah, let me uh, zoom in a little bit, so you can see the roots a bit better. Let me grab my tray. There you go. So yeah, as you can see, it really is doing well for me. Let me get the stake out first. So yeah, a lot of uh, aerial roots, so I think this uh, A division should uh, grow on very well. I try to... Uh, Find a nice division, but uh, again, first it needs to come out of the pot. So let's make some noise. Yeah. And there we go. That went fairly smoothly. Another stake here. Yeah, some older bulbs. The water meter. Get it out first. So yeah, like I said, quite some roots and some roots that are are dead, but most of them feel uh, feel firm, luckily. And also some ferns. Those go out, out, out. Another one here. We don't need those, even though I love ferns, but they really like to take over the pot. <laughs> so, yeah, we have some new roots here. Some Cintiq that I would like to take off as much as I can. And those roots in the middle, well, actually not all of them. I thought they were, those, most of them were dead, but not all of them. Um, yeah, let me uh, make some room. I have my sterilized cleaning tools to make uh, some cuts. Um, yeah, I'm putting it back in there so we have a little bit of cleaner space. But first, let's start with the oldest part of the plants. Those older bulbs here, those can go. I even have an old. Uh, tie here. Let's, oops, let me get it off. There we go. So this part I'm going to cut. I think I'm making the, we'll make the cut over here. There we go. Let's, let's see if we did do well. There's another part. There we go. So two parts here. Yeah, these are attached, but I had to make uh, two cuts as you can see. So we had a uh, secondary uh, growth direction there. <laughs> um, okay, that's the first part. This feels fairly loose, this uh, part in the middle. Some old flowers. Beautiful flowers, but they are kind of tiny, so they do get everywhere when they fall off. 
it's not a, not a big problem but yeah this part might be a nice section that is uh, if I cut it there I have one two three mature bulbs and one new growth some roots so that might be a possibility but also this climbing part um, and I have this part here that's also having a new growth several bulbs there so yeah I think I'm going to keep those two we have a new growth here in the back and a new growth here so that would be two sides this one uh, is growing too if I keep that one if I cut this one off we have quite a beautiful fairly big piece over here and this one is a little bit lower in the pot than the other two parts so that's why this might be a nice division so I have those new growths at the same level so that's uh, when they need to root in a pot it's a little bit easier so yeah that is what I'm going to do now I need to find a place to make the cut <laughs> so we have uh, I'm going to zoom in a little bit yeah I think this is a little bit better so one new growth here this part and then a bulb another bulb so we at least we don't need to have two but I would like to see that's a very old it's a little bit loose and then we have this one but I'm going to uh, firstly keep it on and see how uh, how we do but it's a lot of roots there <laughs> I don't know if you can see it yeah you can see it I think so I need to uh, get those roots a little bit out of the way yeah I think I can now make the cut one two three here we go there we go yeah there we go try to pull this gently there's a root stuck there we go a lot of roots in the Cintiq and there we go so there we go this is uh, the piece for INSA some old roots and also some starting new roots or at least one one starting new root so yeah this should be, uh, be good I'm going to take the Cintiq out I know he uh, doesn't really like the inorganic not as much yet <laughs> he might give it a try he uh, told me uh, one day but who knows so yeah and the rest of the roots are having some growing tips on there as you can see here so I'm going to leave those yeah another new root there but tip broke off that eye is not growing there is an eye here but it looks a little bit brown so I'm not sure if that will uh, take oh they get the, there goes the uh, <laughs> last bulb so yeah it wasn't uh, strongly attached anymore but still it's a beautiful division i think two bulbs with one new growth that should be doing fine so i'm going to put it aside so that leaves me with this part fairly big still and attached which i like and yeah sadly the most of the new roots were on this part but yeah what can we do it should be fine it's not uh, difficult to get this one to root in my opinion so I think it should be fine try to get some Cintiq off while we can get a little bit more air in there back in the days I was trying a Cintiq a little bit more or used a little bit more I should say in the pots and just a little bit too much actually so I lose some air in the pots this one seems that it didn't mind as much but still so yeah i'm going to uh, put those roots in i'm just going to bend them in side of the pot and they should take off and 
there we have a clean cut and we have a clean cut here and another one here so the cinnamon will do as well just a little bit a piece of cin cinnamon on here just a tip that will go on the wound the first one just in case because it's a little bit brown as well so you never know I don't want any rot starting in there and that was a bit that did fall on the roots there so let me clean it up I'm gonna tap it if there's anything more falling off some residue of the synth, uh, cinnamon and somewhere here yes here it is is another cut so I should do this a little bit differently let me try that Hold it a little bit upside down, so if I if some cinnamon falls down, it doesn't fall on the roots of the plant because that's not what we want, of course. So yeah, this works way better. So I'm going to clean this up because I now have cinnamon on here as well. <laughs> so yeah, I uh, cleaned everything up. I have my media ready. I have this uh, first layer ready, <laughs> and I'm going to reuse the uh, the pot that came off out of and I did give it a quick uh, rinse on the tap and yeah that should be fine so I'm going to use a uh, the larger pumice first to put a layer in here so the smaller pumice will not fall through the holes but before do we do that let's uh, get off those old flower spikes I just uh, did forget to take those off uh, let me check we have one here it's done this one is obviously done as well so yeah it looks just a little bit nicer if we take those off we have a very big one here so okay let's uh, prepare the pot just a little layer should be enough and the small pumice is always a little bit dusty, so uh, I may uh, blow a little bit, <laughs> but I, uh, we shall see. First we need to uh, position this one back in its pot. Let's see how we are going to do that. The water meter, I didn't forget, luckily. And let's see if we can get those roots that were quite aerial <laughs> in the pot, so they can start to establish inside there and take up nutrients and make this plant more stronger and healthier than it already is so this bulb is a little bit in a strange angle it's a bit curved here <laughs> but yeah it's a very unruly grower and it's kind of what I like about it but it's a little bit inconvenient <laughs> when you start to repot it but anyhow let's start put in the first media I did like the previous media but I do like the pumice better so that's why I'm changing the media I hope she uh, does agree <laughs> I think she will So we have quite some uh, new roots dust in the pots. That's nice. That is very nice. Let me uh, tap this a little bit. So we have uh, even more room. <laughs> Put some media in. Well, actually, a little bit, not even that much. Sometimes when you start tapping, the media is falling into the air gaps and you uh, are left with quite some uh, room to put in uh, new media, but not that bad. 
just a little layer and then I will uh, put the pebbles in. Yeah, the root, root that new growth is now here. This is what I meant earlier. It's fairly close to the edge of the pot, I know, but I just want to see how it uh, will do. It may have need another repot next year, but that's okay. We can now re-establish, and then we will uh, go on from there. And this is the other new growth. So we have one here and one here around the same height. So that's why I chose to keep this uh, part and make the other part a division out of. Because that one was a little bit lower inside of the pot, like we uh, discussed. Yeah, I think uh, I did well. It's better for the plant, a little bit easier. Meanwhile, I'm checking. These guys do not need much air holes, air gaps in a pot, but a little bit more, like I said. I, so I don't uh, put any Syntec in anymore. It's very um, useful to get them start to uh, root inside of the pot, the Syntec. But once they do, you don't need it as much anymore so nowadays I'm, I'm just starting off with a little bit less uh, Cintiq for plants that I think that would benefit from the Cintiq and just keep it on the top of the pot a little bit more just to get those new roots to grow like a it's, it's a little bit uh, yeah it, it actually it works the same as uh, spegman moss it's the inorganic variety but it has the same uh, well at least the roots react for me, this is uh, almost the same to it. They really like it. But if you have, uh, like I said, a little bit too much in the pot, it is too wet. Even for self-watering, <laughs> believe it or not. Then you will have those seeds. This, these seeds are dry, as you can see, but those seeds will then start to uh, become wet and, and they will not dry up. And that is a little bit uh, asking for some troubles. I have a few here that need to dry up a little bit more. So you need a nice balance. Yeah, I think we did uh, quite well. So I'm going to give this a, a rinse under the tap and then we will visit her at her uh, grow space. So yeah, I just put her back on the shelf and here she is. Well, she looks uh, freshened up, doesn't she? So yeah, maybe I could have taken these leaf points off. Not really. Uh, mind those it happens especially on the older ones still some uh, area roots there and i don't mind it either but uh yeah a lot of new roots in the pot name tag is back with a new date on it so yeah and just flossed it as you can see the pebbles are still wet but yeah there's it uh, this is the oncidium pupicae yeah sunset and you probably see it in one of my blooming updates maybe a few more because this one is a uh, reliable bloomer it blooms for me every year beautiful blooms so yeah but uh yeah i hope you liked this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and maybe you want to subscribe to my channel if you didn't already have thank you for watching and i really hope to see you at one of my next videos bye bye <laughs>